Hey guys, Kalila here, or Callie, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new today. I'm so excited. I always get excited whenever I show you guys what I've done for the month previously. And it's just nice to recap. I feel like I said this in my last one, but it's just nice to recap and see what has actually been done for the month and how productive I was if I actually did the things that I planned to do. Looking back, I feel like I did most of the things that I planned to do. Of course, I switched things around and everything. That always happens. Like, I don't ever stick to my schedule, like, fully because like I said you never know what's happening what's going to happen during the month and things just won't go according to plan but that's why I don't worry about it I follow what Leonard Snart from the flash said he says make the plan execute the plan expect the plan to go off the rails throw away the plan make the plan execute the plan expect the plan to go off the rails throw away the plan Okay, but we can plan as much as we can so that we are never underprepared, you know? Anyway, I did most of what I planned to do and I have so many things planned for October and for November and a little bit of December, which is crazy. I know, I've been planning like crazy, but I just love being prepared. Anyway, for this month, I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four finished projects which is great. The first one is actually a bleed off from last month, but I didn't finish it until this month. And it is my sweater vest, which I cannot find at the moment. I have searched and searched and searched everywhere for it. I'm sure I just misplaced it, obviously. It's still here somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. I'm gonna have to recheck the places that I I wouldn't check places I wouldn't even think I would put it since I can't find it in places that I have put it. So I will pop up pictures that I took in the sweater vest here so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I finished that sweater vest. That was actually my first knit project. I am so happy with it. Like I expected it to be harder than it was and it wasn't. It was so easy. It was so any beginner will be able to do it like 100%. I'm someone who definitely learns very quickly and catches on quickly. But even if you are the slowest learner, you will be able to get it, especially since the tutorial was very easy, very straightforward. Any anything, any technique that was used in there was explained thoroughly and nicely for beginners to understand. And like I said, it was my first it wasn't my first knit project, it was my first knit garment because my first knit project was a hat. But it was so digestible, so understandable. I would recommend that for anybody. I do have an entire video on that sweater vest. So if you check my channel, you will find it and you can find the tutorial and the pattern to it so that you guys, if you're interested, will be able to recreate that yourself as well. The next thing that I finished, oh, 10 out of 10 for that project. like. I didn't struggle doing it. I was rushing through it at toward the end because I wanted to finish it. I wanted it to be done so that I can move on to my next whip or it was a whip. My next finished object and project that I just love so much and it is my sweater, my Louisiana sweater by Petite Knit. I will pop up some pictures on the screen after I show you guys this, this is where I messed up so badly. My stuff was unraveling. Well, I didn't mess up. I tried it on and I didn't do the bind off that was recommended, which I should have. I just didn't feel like it because like toward the end of this project, I was like, I just want it to be over because I wanted to start my next project. Every time I start a project toward the end, I get antsy because I'm so excited to start my next project and I do not want to have whips like I don't want to start this I don't want to have this one on the needles and then start something else that I was excited for because then my excitement for it just wanes I don't like doing I don't like doing that that's why I don't have that many whips whenever I am working on projects especially big projects but this is my Louisiana sweater by Petite Knit more like Louisiana long sleeve shirt because I totally did not use anything recommended in this pattern not the yarn weight not the needles 
size nothing but it still came out very good it still fit me very nicely and i love it so much because it was the easiest sweater pattern ever it is by petite knit it is a difficulty one out of five so very very easy and the only hmm, difficult technique that i would say would that could be confusing is the raglan and that was literally what made it so easy the the raglan increases were the easiest part these are the raglan stitches right here you can see it on both sides of the sweater it was so easy so great i will recommend that to any beginner just like the sweater vest i'll recommend this to anybody who's starting out knitting and wants to, to tackle a bit a very big project because this is supposed to be like an almost oversized sweater. Usually most of Petite Knits patterns have an oversized feel to it because they have a lot of positive ease, which I love. Oh my gosh, those are my type of sweaters. Those are my, those sweaters, <laughs> I don't know how to phrase this. Those are exactly the sweaters that I look for and I'm so happy I can find it all in one place of different styles, different techniques. I can learn so much from her patterns and I'm just so happy this turned out really well. I used, okay, for my sweater vest that I showed you the picture of earlier, I used Dishy Cotton Yarn for that. Never again. I do. Knitting with cotton yarn was not the best experience ever. That's another reason why I wanted to get it off the needles. This I used Drops Brush Alpaca Silk. Oh my gosh, the softest yarn ever. Like I always talk, like I always say about alpaca, it is so soft, it is so nice. I could not recommend it more for people, especially if you have an allergy to wool. Alpaca is going to be your best friend, unless you're allergic to that as well, then I'm sorry. Alpaca is a great replacement for like mohair and everything or any other fuzzy type of yarn because oh, alpaca is just very nice. But this pattern, a 10 out of 10 for me because it was just so easy, so nice, and I can't wait to start my next pattern by her, which is going to be the novice sweater. In my podcast yesterday, I showed off all of the yarn that I used and what I plan to do with it and everything. It was just, oh my gosh, I'm not going to show it now because it has nothing to do with this video, but the novice sweater, chunky edition is what I'll be doing for next week next week, well, I guess, for next month's knit project. Yeah, so this is my second whip. My third whip is another sweater. Yes, I did two sweaters this month. Oh, I did the sweater in nine days, so one week and two days, which is very insane, but I did do it on seven millimeter needles, so it went by very quickly. I imagine if I was using like a four or a 3.5, it wouldn't have gone as fast, but who knows? I haven't tried it yet. I'm sure, I'm sure I, I'll be able to do that. One week, 3.5, four millimeter needles. Yeah, that'll be a challenge that I'll take on. But my next sweater is this sweater here. It is my diamond sweater, which I'm still writing the pattern out for, which will be for members, my YouTube members. So if you would like this pattern, then definitely join my membership on YouTube. It supports me and in return, I give you guys monthly podcasts, free sweater patterns, and possibly tutorials in the future for sure. But here's the sweater, all nice and blocked out. Oh gosh, like look at this. Oh, it looks so nice. It, Oh, it smells so good. It smells like the wool wash I use. Oh my gosh, it's so, so very nice. This took me exactly one week. Well, it took me six days. I did a whole video on all of these projects. This took me six days, seven days if you include the blocking. So I'll just say a week to do this sweater. It has a very nice oversized feel. It has a lot of positive ease. It is not very long, but it's long enough to fall like to my crotch area or just below it. So I don't know if that's long to people. It's not that long to me, but yeah, I like that. I like that fit. And the yarn that I use for this is actually a hand dyed yarn by an indie dyer named Ken Yarn. It's owned by Jake and I used his fall collection yarn which was supposed to be a kit for a shawl but like I said I 
shawls, not for me. So I used that, got two kits of it and made a sweater. Oh, this is the back. The back is purple. If you haven't seen the video on the sweater yet, go watch it because I show my whole design process and everything. This is a pattern like completely by me. I freehanded this totally from my brain. I didn't reference anything, not even my older not even my other patterns. <laughs> it's so easy to crochet a sweater, okay? Like, so very easy. You know what I should do? I should try to crochet a raglan sweater. That would be cool. Let me write that down, because I like that idea. Like, design a raglan sweater, crochet sweater. Design a crochet raglan sweater. That means I have to learn how to even crochet a raglan anything. But yeah, this is going to be a totally, totally easy pattern. Measurement based, of course. I'm going to add the chart for the diamonds, which are totally optional because this can be worked as if it's just a plain sweater, no color changes or anything. I explain that in my podcast. But yeah, this took me one week. So literally, I'm doing the same thing this month, October. I'm going to plan my crochet and knit sweater like one week within each other and see if I can use that time and knit, finish my knit sweater within one week and a half or so. And then my October cowl in one week because my crochet sweater for the month will be my cowl. The crochet long that I'm hosting with my sister Kahila, Crochet with K. It is the Rusty High Neck sweater by me and so many of us are doing it. It's so exciting. We're talking about it in my Discord. So if you would like to join and be a part of the crochet long, then go ahead, join my Discord. You can see everyone else's yarns and everything. And it's gonna start today. Am I posting this today? Which is October 1st. Today's not October 1st, it's the 29th. But yeah, I'm posting it on the 1st. So today, when you're watching it, or if you're watching it on October 1st, this is when we're starting. Ah! And I'm so excited to do that. But yeah, that will be my crochet project for the month like a big project. And then my novice sweater will be the big knit project for the month. And then I plan to do some Halloween socks, hopefully. I haven't even finished the socks that I will show you in a little bit, but that's fine. So this is my third project for the month. My fourth project is something that I actually can't show you guys yet because it's for next Friday's video. I didn't think I would actually finish this project this quickly. It took me like six and a half hours, seven hours total. I just can't believe I actually finished it that quickly. But if you watched my podcast, then you already saw everything. You saw the whole project. You heard my explanation for it and everything. That is what I did. So four projects finished for the month of October. I'm happy with that. I'm so happy that I was able to finish that many projects, especially two sweaters in the month. That is crazy because usually, recently it's been taking me like a month to finish a sweater because I have so many things, I had so many things planned around each other and I'm like, listen, I need to take back control of my time and plan things smartly, you know, not just because I can do this or I can do that and have this whip, that whip, that whip. Speaking of whips, I only have one whip surprisingly. I know, right? I feel like I just like cleanse my soul by finishing my projects. <laughs> so now I can just feel great starting new ones. But my whip is a sock. I actually finished one of the socks already. You guys would have seen it at this point, but here is the entire sock. I show it again in next week's video. You'll see why. But yeah, I finished the sock. It looks so amazing. Like the heel part was the most fun I have ever had because it was such a different technique that I hadn't done before. Oh, and the toe because I did magic loop and I finally learned how to do magic loop properly because of that. Oh gosh, it's so nice. It fits 
so perfectly and I am still working on the second sock. I can't believe it takes so long to make socks or maybe because I'm just new to making socks and I've been making projects all around it that I've had to stop it so many times. But this is the second sock. Let me show you for reference. I still have all of this <laughs> to go and I want to actually start on my novice sweater on like Saturday so or you know what I can start it on Sunday so I will work on this for like the rest of the week so Thursday Friday Saturday the next three days I'm going to go ham on this because I want to finish it before the yarn for my Halloween socks come in because I don't want to have these socks on the needles when I need these needles for my Halloween socks and I just need to finish it because I don't like my projects bleeding over throughout the months too much but yeah this is my only whip and I'm glad it's only like a half a whip because I can finish it very easily if I actually dedicate time to it and since I'm filming all of these videos I'm pre-filming like four videos so I will have the time to actually finish the socks hopefully by Sunday and have that just off my needles and have the needles there for my Halloween socks because I want to have my socks done by October 31st so I can just have some cute socks to wear for Halloween while I watch Halloween movies with my sisters. <laughs> that is all that I have for this video. Let me know what you guys finished for the month of September. Let me know what your favorite project was. My favorite project for this month was definitely the novice novice oh my gosh I'm ahead of myself was definitely the Louisiana sweater by Petite Knit because it was my first knit sweater and I'm so excited that it gave me the confidence to start another sweater which I will be starting sometime next week and ah, I'm just I'm just so happy but anyway yeah let me know what your favorite project was to do this month if you have how many whips you have because I only have one which I know is like surprising because a lot of people have like 20 whips. I no. I can't do that. I will feel so or unorganized. Not saying that if you have that many whips, you're unorganized. Personally, if I have that many whips, that means I was definitely not as organized as I would have liked to be for the month because I plan out everything. Like every hour has has a slot for something. Like I plan out everything like meticulously. So that's just me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and you haven't done so already. I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!